So guys, um, there's another uh, medical procedure used in treating of pleural effusion. Let me say you are treating pleural effusion, uh, pleural effusion is coming back. You are treating it is coming back. So there's kind of like a final touch that you could do to what? Pleural effusion. And this is known as what? Pleurodesis. 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 And pleurodesis is more of like, okay, you know that there's a space around the lungs that fluid could actually what? Gather right there. So you're not, you're not trying to what? Initiate something that will block this space. Let me use a better picture. Can you see here? Can you see this white thing? Can you see this what? Purple something. So this purple something is a space. Then this white thing is what? What you have introduced into the pleural cavity to block the space so that fluid will not have any chance to gather again. Okay? That's just the concept of what? Pleurodesis. We'll be discussing this concept from the definition. We'll talk about indications, talk about the types. Then after talking about the types, we'll talk about the procedure complications, contraindications, when you shouldn't do a pleurodesis. Benefits of this what? Concept of what? Pleurodesis. Okay? So, let's move right now. We said that pleurodesis is a medical procedure that involves in introducing a substance into the pleural space or pleural cavity. So, when you introduce this, this substance into the pleural space or pleural cavity, right, to cause an inflammation and scarring, so now when there's this inflammation and scarring, this is when the pleural space will now get what? Like say blocked or something. So when the space get blocked, the fluid that usually accumulates there will now have a space to accumulate again. Now this will ultimately lead to what? Fusion of the pleural with the membrane surrounding the lungs and to prevent further fluid accumulation. All right, so that's why I said this is like the final say to anything pleural effusion. All right, indications when the patient is having reoccurring pleural effusion, having pleural effusion, your treating is going, is coming back. Now, treating is going, is coming back. All right, the patient also, also has a malignant pleural effusion. You do this if they have pneumothorax, that's a collapsed lungs, right? Presence of air in the thorax, you do this if they have impairma which is what, like pulse, pulse formation in the pleural, okay? Uh, pulse formation due to some infections, bacterial infections, viral infection, you do this, right? Types now, you could use chemicals, all right? So substance like what, talc, doxycycline, or bleomycin. You could do mechanical pleurodesis using what, a pleural abrasion or pleurectomy, all right? You could do video assisted or thoracoscopy surgery pleurodesis. All right. Then procedure now. First of all, you insert a chest tube or thoracoscope. Then introduce any of the pleurodesis agent that you are trying to now fill up. It's just like you have a hole, so you are trying to fill up with sand. Do you understand? Literally like that. Then next, inflation of the lungs to distribute the agent. Okay. Then you monitor for complications, right? So that it to be safe out there. Complications now. If you do a pleurodesis, it could lead to pain. If you don't do it properly, it could lead to infections. If you don't do it properly, again, it could lead to a bleeding. If you don't do it properly, it could lead to the, the patient having problems with breathing. That's respiratory distress. Then sometimes, if you haven't tested the individual very well, it could be that they have one or two allergies towards the pleurodesis agents we are using so now now react to it okay contraindications if the patient has an active bleeding don't do this if they have severe respiratory failure don't do this if they have pleural thickening or fibrosis don't do this if they have what lung entrapment don't do this benefits of course if you do a pleurodesis it reduce what the fluid accumulation it will prevent what? Pneumothorax. It will improve the lung function. I bring back the lungs to how it was functioning before. It will enhance the quality of life of the patient, right? Because um, that problem of always coming to the hospital because of pleural effusion is now gone. So their life is back 
kickstarting and all that right so i think that's it for what the pleurodesis medical procedure um definition indication types procedure complications and all that